Welcome. This video, I will be covering the delta math, finding domain and range with technology. Here we have a problem, and to do this, you have to go open up another browser and go and type in Desmos graphing. So you want to hit on the graphing calculator on Desmos. So hit that, and this should bring up. This is the technology part that you're going to need. So here's our problem. You're going to graph f of x is equal to x squared minus 6. So type that in here. So f parentheses of x, close the parentheses, equal to, then you have x. Now you want to get the um, exponent of 2. So if you hit this keyboard on the bottom, you would see uh, the 2 here, right? Or you could put the caret symbol. Then it is minus six. Make sure you are able to type this in exactly, right? I'm going to take a picture of this and bring it into paint so we can look for the range because it's looking for the range, okay? All right, I have the now the problem on paint. Remember, the question asks us to find the range of this. So I have it graphed. The range is referred to your y value. And you are going to look from the bottom to the top. That is what the range is. It is the y value from the bottom to the top. So if we look at the bottom value, okay, it goes all the way down here until it hits this number. And it is the number. Let's see, does it touch it? Yeah, it looks like it touched it at negative six. And it looks like it goes up, 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 keep going. And keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And here there's supposed to be arrows here, but it just keeps indicating that it goes on forever. Goes all the way up to positive infinity so we can just write the infinity symbol so the range for this one let's say here it touches the negative six so we would say it is closed at negative six so we can write uh, y is for the range y is for the range and we would say it's closed at negative six so make sure you put the bar here and it is open at infinity. The way you read this is y is greater than or equal to negative 6. y is less than infinity. In bracket notation, we close the bracket at negative 6, comma, goes all the way to infinity. And we open it at infinity. So let's see if that answer work or if we made a mistake. So I can put, let's put the bracket notation. So it's this bracket, negative six comma, and we close the bracket here, negative six comma, and we put the infinity symbol and we submit. Let's see if we did that correct. Yes, we did it correct. Let's see if our interval, uh, or you could write the interval notation, uh, the um, inequality here, all right? This is why you should always write it in bracket notation. It's just easier. We saw that the minimum value is negative 6 right here, and it goes all the way up forever. goes all the way to positive infinity. Good job. Let me do one more problem for you. This problem asks me to find the domain of this function, f of x is equal to 2 to the power x minus 2. Let me graph this on Desmos. So it is f of x is equal to 2. And I need to take the exponent. I can't really, I do not know where the exponent is, right? So you would hit this symbol. This symbol brings it up and you could write x. Oh, nope. Make sure it's up in the air here. X. All right? Then bring it down. 
because if you keep typing it's going to stay there so move the mouse over to the right then you're going to minus two okay make sure you're able to graph it all right i'm going to bring this up into desmos okay now i graph this and i put it here into decimals all right we're going to look for the domain the domain i'm going to make this in red the domain is referred to your x values so it is your x values okay we look at it from left to right right so let's look from left. Wow, it goes on forever and it goes on forever, it goes on forever. So it looks like it goes on forever, all the way to native infinity. Okay, goes all the way up and it keeps like it keeps going, it keeps going, it looks all the way like it's going to positive infinity. Okay, so here you can write that x is less than negative infinity. It's just open and it is x is greater than negative infinity but less than positive infinity because remember it is still open so x is open on both sides of the inequality or you could write this in bracket notation open parentheses of negative infinity comma positive infinity and open it an other word for this is all real numbers okay let's take a look let's see if we did it correctly i can write right here all real numbers right so um all real numbers you can write that as one of your answers or you can write that inequality so it is open on both sides and it's negative infinity comma positive infinity submit let's see if it accepts that yeah that will be accepted so you can also write all real numbers or you can write it like this as well okay good let's see if I can find one more for you nope I think that is good Okay, that's how you find your domain, and that is how you find range. Make sure you can graph it on decimal.